Hey kids. Okay, so today we're going to have a little bit of fun with the one point perspective that we've been learning about. And we're going to be drawing a pier, like a tropical wooden pier that can either go out into the water if you want or onto an island. In that case, it would maybe cross from one island to the next. So I have my straight edge. I'm using a, a paint stirrer, but you could just as easily use anything else in the house that you can find that would make a straight line with your pencil. Pencil, eraser, and a Sharpie to go over my lines later. And I'm gonna start by placing my horizon line pretty high for this one, like maybe right about here. Maybe two thirds up the paper. Now I'm doing it nice and light in pencil so I can change it later if I don't like it. And then I'm gonna put my vanishing point right about there. Making it kind of bigger than I normally would so you can see it, but you wanna have it just big enough that you can see it and nice and light so you can erase it later. And now I'm gonna make the sides of my wooden pier lining my line up with the vanishing point. So I'm touching the vanishing point with my pencil and making line number one. And then I'm gonna come over here and line it up again and make line number two. Now for this drawing, that's the only thing I have to do with the vanishing point. But the next thing I'm gonna do for this is I'm actually gonna come down a little bit maybe right about here and I'm gonna put a line across here because I'm actually not going to use this part of the pier I'm gonna make this into a dock you can put it straight across if you want actually but you're probably going to erase that line later so I'm gonna make that part of the dock and then I'm gonna make well I guess I am gonna use the vanishing point again you can just make a shorter line on the other side, but I'm gonna make it, you know, kind of technical. So I'm gonna have these two edges. Let's put it right there. Line up with the vanishing point. And then I'm gonna close this off. All right, so far so good. Now, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase this. I realize I want this to be a little longer. Sorry, but it's gonna bother me. So I'm lining it up again. I'm gonna put that here. And then I'm just gonna use that line instead and get rid of this one. Hopefully you don't have that problem and you like the shape of your dock. Okay, now dock in the tropical water will have parts coming down to kind of hold it into place. And they'll go into the water if you're choosing to make this the water. If you're choosing to make it the land, they still come down and they'll go into the sand instead. All right, now for our hut, this is fun. All right, so for the hut, you wanna put a wide triangle on top like this. And then you're gonna kind of round it like that. And this is gonna be like a fringy bottom. Nice and wide. And then you wanna give it some posts to stand on your dock like this. Oh yeah. Okay, now you have some decisions to make young artists. You can make this the horizon line. This is sky, this is water. This can be a dock that just goes out into the water in the shallows, right? It's this beautiful blue Caribbean water. You'd walk out here, you'd sit here on the dock and you'd look out at the ocean. 
very nice or you can make this into an island and I'll show you how where you'll put the island right about here this is water this is land and then you'd add some things like maybe palm trees or other huts here on the island so if you're doing the ocean you want to go over your lines with sharpie develop your hut this is water this is sky this is your wooden pier this is your hut if you're doing the island you can make your beach maybe right about here And the waves kind of you know crashing up right about here and then this you're not going to see this quite so much so maybe i'll take some of this out but you are still going to have your horizon line here but it might be blocked so i'm going to kind of just raise it a little bit like this and then i'm going to put in some palm trees and i'll put the horizon line back when we when we're ready so Palm trees are very different than regular trees, right? They have these large individual leaves, like palms, right? Individual palms. And they come from the center of the tree. So I'm just putting some of this in here. I have another... Um, YouTube tutorial on drawing trees and palm trees are one of them. So there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to make a good looking palm tree, but you basically just want a bunch of palms coming from the central source right here. This is the top of the palm tree. And then they have a nice long, pretty flexible. So it's often shown, you know, um, leaning or curving to one side. Uh, trunk right so you can have a couple of these here do want to fill this in but maybe there's more huts so maybe there's one here And then some lines down here to just be the support pieces for it. And again, it's got that fringy bottom. I'll put that in with the Sharpie. And then under the huts, when you're coloring it, you know, that would be very shady. So it would be sand color, but then shade color. And then maybe another one back here. They don't have to be fancy. These can be the tops of buildings if you want them to be, but they don't have to be. A little from there. And then maybe there's some, you know, some islands back here. And some more palms. And then, of course, the sky. So if you are doing these palm trees in pencil and you're filling it in like this, that's fine. But if you're doing it in like with an outline, then you can go back into all this and color these in. So I would say outlining it in pencil or Sharpie and then adding color is a great idea for this. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do my Sharpie lines and I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so I have put in my Sharpie. 
I have erased most of my pencil and I've pulled out some colors. I've got some browns, blues, greens, yellows, oranges. Um, I think I have a black in there. And I'm going to start by layering some browns in my wood. And in the, the thatched part of the hut. In here, I'm going to layer some different colors in here so that, you know, it looks better than just one color. So two different types of brown look good together. Brown and orange could work. Brown and yellow could work. I'm just going to kind of build it up like this. Then I'm going to work greens through the palms. Same thing, I'm going to vary the greens that I use and layer them so that they end up looking a little bit more interesting than one color alone. And then I'm going to put some blue in my water, remembering that this is the beach, right? So the water is going to be darker the further away it gets from the land. The, it gets darker the deeper it gets. So it's going to be darkest back here and then it's going to work its way to the lighter blue and then to, you know, sort of a nice light surf. And then I can put yellow through my sand. And like I said, in the shady areas, I'm going to use a shadow color. So I have a purple here somewhere. Let me see if that's it. Nope. I think that's it. I think I'll use that for my shade. If you put the shadow right under the object, then it looks like the sun is right overhead. If you put the shadow off to the side, then the sun is low in the sky. And if you decide to do that, you should put it, like if you put everything you know, to the left, all the shadows should fall to the left. I'm putting it right up overhead. And this is the palm, this is making the shade, right? So this is casting this shadow. And I'll probably use some of this purple in my mountains as well. Okay, I'll color this a little bit and I'll show you when it's done. All right, kiddos, so there it is. Here's my finished drawing. Actually, I want to put a little shade under there. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoy drawing your pier and adding a whole bunch of fun tropical stuff. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, take care.